and of course now we've got the whole Rotherham case that's all over the press. Mm. Um, and like you, we're really concerned that it seems to be framed as a race issue. Yes, yes, yes. And I exactly. think for us, it's almost a way of not addressing the yeah. real issue. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's allocating it in a space that it doesn't belong, yeah. which for us means that a remedy will not be found. No, I think that's a very good point. You know, if we're saying that, you know, oh, certain communities of men are more sexist than others, and, and then they kind of, you know, imbue certain qualities and characteristics, mm -hmm. that is such a dangerous way of operating. You know, we've got to say it's about all men. Mm -hmm. right? Here. And the key pattern for me is that kind of the abuse of male power that's happening at the very top and at the very bottom, that's what needs to be tackled. The problem isn't about certain communities of, of men, it's about uh, men who have power as well. And you know, but behind them sits a whole apparatus of the police, of social services, of agencies, and they have a statutory legal requirement to intervene. And what was very concerning for me as someone who's been working with young people for the last 20, 30 years as a practitioner is that those young people were failed. Culture, the very, you know, machismo, macho culture that existed in Rotherham Council, that mm -hmm. there were very few uh, female senior officers, for example, right? And I think for me that's significant. It's not, you know, you can't just pinpoint it and say that's, that's the issue. Sure. Right? However, you know, if you've got a macho culture at the top and you've got a macho culture that's trying to address problems of, you know, child abuse by another group of men, you know, they're not going to do all this because they don't recognise it in the first that's place, right? right? Those young women were reporting those crimes and you know, the attitude of the police officers, and again there's quotes and comments in the report, it's disgusting. It's almost um, that our value as human beings yeah. is attached to us by our race, our class yeah. and our gender. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, because there's a lack of, of political will, you know. Yeah. If men actually want to do something about it, then this would happen, right? And for me, this is, you know, it's state-sanctioned child abuse.